In writing a script for your documentary, there are at least two different formats or styles of telepre teleplay or screenplay writing that you can use. You could go with the uh, type of uh, screenplay format, which is uh, represented here in this frame, or you could go to a two-columned format in which you have video and audio. This presentation will strive to show you how you can take the treatment that you've written for a documentary and adapt it to a two-column format. Here is a treatment which I wrote on the uh, a possible documentary of uh, USF chemistry professor Salim Diab presenting uh, basically in, in essence a chemical magic show. The first paragraph just describes what the documentary is about and that initial paragraph could have been taken from the original documentary proposal. And then it goes on though to show in some broad brush detail how the documentary will look. My thesis is that if the treatment is detailed enough and moves from a beginning to a middle to an end, you can take part of it and deposit it in an AV script. So I'm just going to take this uh, second paragraph after the initial paragraph, which uh, starts to describe how the documentary is going to look, and just copy it to my clipboard. And now, in preparing a script, let's call this uh, chemical magic script, we've talked about using the audio video two column format. And what I have found in Word is that you can simulate this by creating a table with a couple of cells. Just start that. Let's just call this side video instructions, or rather just video, and this side audio. And then we're going to move this cell down a little bit so that we can see um, more clearly the size of the cells. And in the left-hand column, I'm going to paste the script that I just wrote. Now, I can work with this to a certain degree. And when it, said, when it talks about the voiceover, there's a voiceover sound bite that I want to use. So to create the conditions for the, that, those, that sound bite to be on the same line as in this voiceover, you could, using the table tools, select draw a table, and then just draw a line right above the paragraph. And if you do it like this, you can then start to add that which is necessary to uh, complete the task. And what I like to do often is use in cues and out cues from the quote that I wrote. Now this is actual sound coming from Diab. That's the in cue. These are the, this is a, perhaps a 20 second sound bite. Uh, we're going to use it as a voiceover. Those are the first words out of Diab's mouth. This is how the sound bite ends. So you have an in cue and an out cue. And then the CG or the character graphic or the lower third graphic could be And you could go through and you could expand on this and at moments when the script requires a sound bite, you could add Diab, again draw a line, And over here in the, um, on that side, you could say you could include sound bite because this time Diab will be seen as well as heard. And the out cue And let's add 
a character graphic. And then as you go along, maybe there are possibly areas that you could delete. Because the stuff that's described in the paragraph is actually covered in the sound bite. So we would return to Diab's presentation, which he includes, and then it calls for quick cuts of camera crew setups. You can start to edit your video using the instructions over on the left, and then include your sound bite in the video timeline, and then return to editing until the next sound bite appears, or sound bites. And then eventually you would have fade to black and end credits. To guide your uh, execution of the uh, editing of the sound bite, you could even put in the name of the clip. And the name of the clip here is, which I have saved in the uh, my online video editor. In this case, I've got a clip in Adobe Premiere uh, Pro called Make Science Relevant. And over here, the clip is called Entertain Educate. And this, again, is in my uh, editing bin in Adobe Premiere uh, Pro. This is a living document. Uh, one might ask, why go to all the trouble to write a script? Why not just dive right into the video editor? Final Cut Pro, Avid, Adobe Premiere Pro. Um, the answer is planning. And a script represents the old adage, an hour of planning saves five hours of execution. That's a true fact. When you have taken the time to finish a script, even before you put your first cut on the timeline, you will have saved yourself in actuality a great deal of time later on because the blueprint is all set up before you and you can put your clips on the timeline a whole lot faster and refer to your script and be really, really precise in the documentary that you're creating that you are shaping with the script.